Hello everybody, my name is Alex with Sigala Designs. Thanks for tuning in for a brand new video. Now, if you guys can tell by the title and thumbnail, yes, it is correct. We are traveling all the way to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee for a car show. Yes, we are driving all the way, pretty much across the country. Now, you might be wondering, well, why isn't the Corvette inside? You know, how are you guys driving it? across the country and that is because we have something even more special inside the trailer that this isn't the beginning of our day but earlier today we did go to Auto Addict to drop off the Red Mist C C8 Z06 and to pick up the black C8 Z06. Now here where we stopped they have a free car museum inside the actual gas station and well behind me look at this guys on display they have a 1955 corvette here and well outside in the trailer we have a brand new 2023 corvette z06 that is an entire what is that 1955 to 2023 that is 68 years apart and well here you guys can see just how much has changed from 1955 all the way to 2023 honestly just to see how everything has changed over the years it is super super nice to go ahead and see some classics especially so well kept now that we're ready to go ahead and start the trip all the way to Tennessee. Here I want to show you guys something that we found inside the gas station that we thought was pretty cool. Now inside we found these personalized transforming car and well on top you can see it actually has my name on it. So right now I'm going to go ahead get this opened up and then let's see what it looks like once it's actually transformed but this isn't all that I found. They're up front. I don't know if you guys knew this or not, but yeah, this truck is actually correct. I do have my own trucking company and it's called Alexander's. So there you guys have it. That is exactly what my trucks look like whenever they go out. So if you guys ever see these on the road, you guys should totally tag us. Nah, but I'm just kidding. So here inside, we actually found these semi trucks that have your name customized on the actual side of the semi truck. So. There we have it, Alexander's Trucking Company. Look at that, guys. So I got a little semi-truck and I got a little transforming car. So let's go ahead and get this one transformed to see what it looks like all built up. There we have it, guys. That is what it looks like all built up. And well, you guys can see this will be my new little companion for this journey. Well, another update for you guys. We are currently in Syrett, Oklahoma. Yes, we are officially in the state of Oklahoma. We'll put the, the little location over here on the side for you guys, just because I really don't know how to pronounce it, but I think it's Syrett or something like that. My bad if I'm mispronouncing it, but from here exactly, let's see exactly how far we are away from Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We're about 14 hours away, guys. So we still have quite the drive, but it says we should be there around seven in the morning tomorrow. And then we're going straight to the room where we're gonna be staying at, getting ready, and then heading straight to the show because we still have to set everything up, guys. All the stuff is still in the trailer. And well, without further ado, let's go ahead, continue the road trip and get back, get back in the cars and keep driving. Later that night. We are on the 40 East right now, and well, we're at a dead stop. Here behind me, you guys can see literally all the cars stopped. I mean, there you can see we're literally right next to the semi. We got the trailer right in front of us. We got the ambulance and stuff back there, and I don't even know what's up front been stopped for I want to say like half an hour now so we'll keep you guys updated as soon as we keep going
7.59 a.m. A little longer than a few minutes later. I know we haven't updated you guys in a while. You can already tell behind me, yes, it is dark. And well, right now, me and my brother are gonna be checking out the car scene out here. And you guys will not believe me when I am about to show you what we're gonna be taking. Wanna go ahead and start it? If you guys have been watching the channel, you guys would recognize that sound very well. Yes, we are taking the Z06 out for a spin. And on the way to the Airbnb, we actually saw a car show, uh, not really a car show, but a car meet filled with Mustangs. You guys heard me right, Mustangs. And we are gonna be taking a Corvette, not, you know, not to, be disrespectful but we have the car here the car won't be going into the show until the morning but mainly to check out the car meets are out here in Tennessee to compare it to how the meets are in San Diego just say in our defense we have Mustangs ourselves so yeah just if any of you guys watching it when you see us we have Mustangs so <laughs> we have nothing against Mustangs we exactly have Mustangs. exactly but it just so happens to be that we have this beauty when uh, just because we're going to the Corvette Expo. So you ready to take it out? Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Now, earlier today, we were able to get my mom's blue convertible inside the show with the whole setup with the trailer. So let's go ahead and show you guys a clip of that and exactly how we have everything set up. Let us know what you guys think of the setup. Now that is just kind of everything laid out. So tomorrow, that is when we will officially have everything out for display for us to actually present at the show. And then when we bring in the Z06, that's when we will set up uh, me and my brother's area because we are gonna be doing vertical doors there as well. And we're gonna be able to be kind of show everybody <laughs> and kind of show everybody how we work and we have our first install scheduled for the early morning so you guys know of course we will take you guys along with us for that look at this guys literally surrounded by a bunch of mustangs i don't know guys something tells me we may not be completely welcomed here, but you know what? With the car like this, I think we just I'm have to- killer, killers. I know, I'm scared, man. <laughs> and then I'm over here owning one, no? <laughs> I'd say right now we're probably gonna drive around a little more, try and see exactly what other cars are here, because honestly right now we're just seeing Mustangs and I'm, I'm a little scared. Now, from the looks of it, from when we first passed by, a lot of cars have left. Yes, it is a little later and who knows what time this show even started. So unfortunately, you guys saw that we did get there late. So it was pretty dead by the time we actually wanted to kind of drive around, go through the aisle, see what kind of different cars showed up. But well, well, I say different cars, but they were 99% Mustang. We were that 1% of, we were that only Corvette. So now we're gonna go out and get something to eat and then basically just go back to the Airbnb and I think we're gonna get some rest, dude, because we have a long day tomorrow. We have an install early in the morning, so we need to be there even earlier to still set up. Oh well, this is the types of things we do for you guys, especially for customers out here all the way in Tennessee where we're here, so people want vertical doors, we're the ones to install them. I had nothing. Um, you know what's funny? What's up? 
their car shows end like at eight or nine at night. Ours end like at two in the morning. Two in the morning. That is true, What's dude. Going on in Tennessee. <laughs> I know. We were planning to get there and it'd be popping. You know, we passed by. I want to say probably around what you think, like seven thirty-eight. Eight, it was pretty close to eight. It was getting closer to eight, and we were like, "Dang, there's a lot of people," you know. And we show up an hour earlier, or an hour later, everyone is gone. Hello. Where the hell is everybody? These Tennessee people need to go to San Diego. They need to see how we throw car meets. Sometimes you don't even know when a meet will end. You can show up two hours later, and they will still be. Oh. What the heck? Okay, this is one thing Tennessee has on top of us that we don't. There is an upside down house, guys. Look at that. Can you guys see that? What the heck? The house is literally upside down. And there's one damn near falling over. And Titanic? What? Uh, and the Titanic. Damn, these are all like within the same little block. Yeah. This is the first time seeing the Titanic. Look at it. Oh, and they got the iceberg on the side of it. Yeah, okay, Tennessee, you know what? Honestly, not bad. That was something cool to see because things like that we don't have in San Diego. Day two. Good morning, good morning, everyone. So it is bright and early in the morning and right now we are heading to La Conte Center. I believe that's how you pronounce it, where the show is actually at. And well, you guys can tell by the interior and I'm pretty sure by the sound, we are in the Z06 getting ready to actually pull it into the show now. Once we get there, we're just gonna set up our area where we're gonna be doing the vertical doors. It is gonna be a pretty busy day today, so I'm not sure how much we'll be able to keep you guys updated, but every chance we get, of course, we will check in with you guys and let you guys know exactly how we're doing. Okay guys, huge news for all of you. Here you guys can see we just finished the second CA with Vertical Doors here in Tennessee for the Corvette Expo. And well, I'm gonna go ahead and bring over the owner of this one. So come here. And you wanna go ahead and introduce yourself? Uh, yeah, I'm James Eden. All from right. Charleston, West Virginia. Nice, so you came, did you drive all the way over here? Oh or? yeah, yeah. Wow, well, how, was, how was that drive? It's, uh, it was raining most of the trip. Oh, it was pretty man. crazy, but uh, it's drying up now, so all we get right. to have a little fun on the way back. All right, all right. Well, we just finished up your car. Let us know what you do. You think? Oh my gosh! I mean, just just look at it. I mean, <laughs> how do you not love that? I mean, it kind of looks like a supercar to me. I mean, to me, it's my supercar. You know, it's. Sagala does a great job, you know. I've been watching you guys on YouTube for like three months. Didn't even know you were here. We yep. pulled in. I come through the tent, got my trusty wristband. Uh -huh. Saw you guys sitting over there. I was like, man, I know that guy. I saw him <laughs> on YouTube. Hey, like, yeah. Oh, man, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm psyched out, man. Well, That's awesome. Say? Well, hey, we're super hyped that you enjoyed it. So here, I'm going to shake right. your hand. Yeah, man. And, well, now enjoy your new C8 with new vertical doors. All right, man, I thank you guys. Uh, yeah, of course. It.
Now, as I mentioned, yes, this is the second Corvette that we have finished with vertical doors. Let us know what you guys think. And we are not finished yet. We actually have a third one going on back there. So let's go ahead and check up on them. Yes, it is getting a little darker in the night, but here you guys can see we are working on a black one. We already have the passenger side with the bracket installed. So now let's go ahead and finish up the driver's side. So guys, the third and final car of the day is officially complete with vertical doors. Now, this one is a black C8 with, I was just informed this interior is called Inferno rather than just red. Apparently they make that very clear. But basically we did start a little later so we did only get to complete three. But right now we're gonna show you guys, let's see exactly what time it is. 9.48, almost 10 o'clock at night and we are finishing the third and final car of the day. Now without further ado, there is only one more thing to do and that is to bring over the owner. So come here, go ahead, introduce yourself. I am David Davis, and, and we're in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Yes, sir. Now, what do you think of the vertical doors on your car? I love them. We bought the car. We wanted them from the beginning, and we decided not to. We decided to, not to, to, and we got here today. We saw what you guys had to offer, and the, we uh, examined it, thought you did a great job, so we bought them. Hey, well, Today, there you go. From you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We just finished with the install. Now, just out of curiosity, what's the first place you're going to go to? Home. Oh, <laughs> you know what? It is later, so I'll give you that one. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty nice answer. We're probably going to head home ourselves. So, well, there you have it. C8 with vertical doors. And, well, let me shake your hand. Enjoy All right. it. All right. Thank you very much. Y'all did a good job for us, guys. You really did. Thank you. We're happy. <laughs> That's what we love to hear. Day three. Good morning, good morning everyone. So it is the second and final day of the Corvette Expo here in Tennessee. And well behind me you guys can see it is bright and early in the morning and we already have a car scheduled. So right now we're gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. But let me tell you, we they have some crazy storms here in Tennessee because this morning when we showed up, I mean, we had some stuff missing. There was porty potties on the other side of the parking lot. I mean, the winds last night were insane. We did lose our blankets. Thankfully, that was the only thing we lost, but we did find one of our ramps that we use uh, probably like half a block away from our booth. That's how bad the winds threw everything. And well, since it rained, everything did get soaked, but that's not gonna stop us. We are still able to do what we need to. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on the car you see behind me. Not, not the cop car, okay? The cop car ain't getting vertical doors. The Corvette, that's what we're gonna be doing vertical doors on. Guys, the first one of the day is complete. Here you guys can see we have my dad showing the owner exactly how to use it, but it is up and done. Now this one came out perfect, but we're not finished here. We already have a black one going down. Here you can see Adrian taking apart the front trunk area to be able to have access to the bolts for the fenders. And this will be the second one. So like I said, guys, let's try to shoot for as many as we can today. So guys, now that we are finished with the first car, now I'm gonna go ahead and bring over the owner. Come here. Now, let us know, what do you think? Love it. Love it. Now, yes. I see you have Sonic on top of the hood. Is that the name of the car? Yes, sir. So Sonic, and what was your name by the way? Chris. Chris, well, here you have it, your C8 now with vertical doors. Honestly, it went by pretty quick. Yes, sir. You, you left, did your own thing, and you came back and your car was done. Yes, sir. That's it, so, well, we hope you enjoy. 
here now you can show off C8 with the doors up. Thank you so much. Of course, man. Very impressive. Three hours later. So guys, we just finished up the second C8 of the show. And well, it's about to end within the next hour or so, but I think we're gonna try and squeeze in one more. And you guys can see exactly how it looks like. So here we have a black C8 with like a, like almost like a rapid blue interior and along a pinstripe on the front lip, kind of what Wendy's C8 has. And honestly, it came out amazing. So here you guys have it, the driver door go all the way down and then closes perfectly. And then let's go ahead and pull it out and up. There we guys, there we have it guys. That simple and it is officially complete. So guys, now there is only one more thing to do and that is to bring over the owner. Owner, oh. yeah, go ahead, come here, come here. <laughs> and go ahead and introduce yourself. So I'm Joe Wartz. This Hi, is I'm Ramona. Ramona. And well, this is their C8 that you see behind me that we just finished up here at the Corbett Expo. What do you guys think? I think it's magnificent. It's awesome. I really like it. It makes a big difference. Perfect. Big difference. That is what we love to hear from customers. So without further ado, I think now it's time for you guys to go enjoy your CA. Go try out the new doors, show it off. And well, let me shake your hand. Hey, thank you so much. And you did a great job. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wonderful job. Yep. Well, enjoy. Yep. Thank, thank you. you. All right. So now that the show is officially over, well, guys, we are not finished yet. Here we have one of the C8s that we did vertical doors on. We have the Z06 that we brought to showcase. And well, back there, you guys can see all our tools and that is because we are doing one more install. Yeah, so while people are getting ready to leave, we are just getting started on yet another car. In a few hours, I wanna say about three to be exact, that C8 up there will be finished with vertical doors. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on that one. third and final car of the show and of the day technically this is the sixth car of the show but the third and final one for the day this is everyone has already basically left i mean there are no cars here and of course we are the last and that is because you guys see that the car is officially finished with both vertical doors and well right now in a little i'm gonna go ahead and bring over the owner for him to tell you in person exactly what he thinks Okay guys, so now I'm gonna go ahead and bring over the owner and well, you wanna introduce yourself? Hey, I'm Alan Poteet from uh, Lincoln to North Carolina. Nice, um, nice. And well, this is your beautiful C8, finally finished the sixth one and final one of the show and the final one for the day. Let us know, what do you think? Absolutely amazing. These guys stayed till it's 10 o'clock here. I mean, they've worked <laughs> nonstop to put in the work and it's phenomenal. So. Perfect, that's what we love to hear. One more fun fact that I want to mention is your license plate says class clown. Was that you in high school? I was a class clown. Oh, that was it. Still am. Still there you am. go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got my dad cracking up over there. <laughs> we got us laughing. And well, I mean, I just want to say enjoy it, man. Absolutely. Take it to as many shows as yes, possible. Sir. Let them know you got it done by Sagala. And well, Go out there and have fun. Appreciate it. All right, Thank man. You, have a good one. You too. And that is it, guys. A wrap for the Corvette Expo. We enjoyed seeing a lot of our customers here, and you guys know that we had a booth outside and inside. And well, how many kits did we get done today? We got our six done in two days. In two days, yeah. Now, how many do you think we can get done? Let's see. If we started early enough, how many do you think we could have gotten done? Early enough, I think we could do 10 in two days. We start like at seven ish, seven ish, maybe finish around nine or 10. We could do 10 in two days. For sure. And we will be going to Carlisle where we have scheduled and we're going to be bringing out 20 kits. Now, what do you think of that, Dave? A lot of work, but we can get it done. We can get it done. Now, Carlisle is a three day show, so you guys might be thinking if you guys say you guys can do five, 
technically a day. How are you guys gonna do 20? We're gonna be showing up before the event and if we need to, even staying after. Are you, dude, I'm hyped for that, bro. Yeah. So we thank you guys so much for watching. What should they do? Well, definitely go like and subscribe. I mean, that's a must, you have to. Exactly. You're, you're already there, just, it's right there on the bottom, right here, it's right here. <laughs> Well, we thank you guys so much for watching. As always, it's Alex and Adrian with Cigar Designs, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.